In the last video, I beat the crap out of Captain Underpants. Now, there is only one way to celebrate. <gasps> Lady Han, you are absolutely gorgeous. By simping, apparently. Not just for the cat, but for me too. No, but seriously, my work is never done. Right now, for example, I have to go investigate a university talk. There must be something dodgy about it if they're sending in the big guns. Such as myself, my conclusion, the big bad is... Iron Man? He's so composed. He's practically overflowing with confidence. Look how clearly he states his company's outlook and principles. He's got everyone's attention. Yeah, there's totally not a lad completely asleep there. Everyone is captivated by this lad chatting absolute shit. As always, my crew has a really bad habit of chatting about what we're doing in public as if what we do is perfectly legal. My god. The cops are after us, and we're still talking about what we're doing. It's like bragging about being a drug dealer. Who the fuck does it? And this time, we're actually busted. Now, I must admit, I am a bit confused. I have watched this over, and I don't believe they actually mentioned anything about being the Phantom Thieves. This chick is dodgy. Either that, or I'm an idiot. Could be either one. Regardless, denial until the bitter end is the only option for us. Too bad my crew disagrees. Now, I have a problem with this. I'm the leader, I should make the calls. Not them, I guess I don't rule with an iron fist. Otherwise, we'd be in that van on our way to Mexico. I guess we're teaming up then, reluctantly. I must admit, because she's cold towards Sophia, which means I don't like her. May as well kick Nanako in the face. It means war. Me and Yusuke decide to get our photo taken. We'd make a lovely couple. Then I hit the road to carry on my adventure. After a snack break, we make it to my new stomping ground, where we proceed to stare at a family mourning the death of a loved one while we stand there with no shame. The only way we could make this worse is if we whipped out our phones and started taking pictures and videos to post on the old Instagram. Me and the brethren then share a moment. Aw, oh, thanks. I'm really working these abs. That is totally not gay. After the bat with the bros, I'm given my next mission. A mayor? Well, I have quarrelled with the Prime Minister before. What's a mayor compared to that? Hashtag fuck Shido. So I seek her out, where she's abusing her staff because a flower isn't looking nice. I think she needs to straighten out her priorities. It turns out, Haru knows this basket case. The biggest surprise for me is that nerd Okumura actually had friends, but I have a job to do, so I'll ignore it. So I gather my data and come to the conclusion the mayor can't run for election if I break her leg. I mean, change her heart. I make my way into the jail. Looks like we're a bit underdressed for this type of weather, but more importantly, Pixie is weak to ice. So this level is going to suck dick. Seriously, this place is filled with ice users. This could be a long time. Case in point, I died in the first battle. Every battle felt like I was one wrong move from getting absolutely pulverized. I make my way to the ice wall. Someone has been watching a bit too much of Game of Thrones. Why On doesn't just use her fire magic attack to melt the ice, I'll never know. I take on my first boss of the jail and get absolutely bent over. After my humbling at the hands of the mini boss, I made my way to the prison keep where I expected to be humbled once again. But fortunately, there was no boss for this part. So I got my hands on the first core. That was easy. I liked this level. Unfortunately, this caused a snowstorm and I could no longer leave the jail. This level sucks. And now I'm stuck looking for heaters. I ran into possibly the worst boss I could have run into. Accepting I was fucked if I stayed as Joker, I switched to on so I could get his health down as much as I could. This didn't make this fight easy. Let me tell you, I lost on Morgana and I nearly got killed myself. Had he pushed for the kill, I was a goner. When I say I barely managed to scrape a win, I mean it. And my SP was completely gone now. And I still can't leave the jail. <laughs> what a disaster. And I still haven't made it to that second fucking heater. I was less than pleased when I had to protect Futaba from a horde of enemies. I can hardly protect myself at this point. How am I going to protect her? I was even more upset when she just upped and croaked within a space of five seconds. I thought she had plenty of health and then dead. It was difficult, but I managed to get a show time which allowed me to make it through this section. But we weren't done yet. We had one heater to get. I had a mini heart attack when I ran into a scripted encounter. Fortunately, 
that was not a boss, because if it was, I wouldn't have had the resources or the skills required to win. And I managed to scrape by, but I wasn't out of trouble just yet, because there was a boss, and the one I never wanted to see. Unsurprisingly, I got annihilated. I actually put up a decent fight the second time around, even got his health down to half. I decided On would be my best choice. She can add fire affinity to her whips, which would hopefully give me the extra edge I desperately needed. Of course, I did worse on this attempt than I did the previous two. My grandmaster plan had blown up in my face, but I still believed that was my best chance to scrape a win. Yeah, she died again, but this time, his health was much lower, so I barely, and I mean barely, managed to scrape a win. I could now leave and get my SP back. If I ran into another boss, after all that, I would certainly have had to call it quits. Now, things were going my way, but not for long, I ran into an army of moths. Look at the man. At first, I eliminated the first and second hordes fairly handily, but they never stopped coming. They were really an army. Of course, I eventually caved into the pressure. I was beginning to think my only option was to accept my fate and surrender. But somehow, I barely managed to escape this never ending nightmare. I get a genius idea. I decided that going snowboarding would be a great way to not waste some SP. I'm pretty sure I should have just smashed face first into the first Jack Frost I saw and been stopped in my tracks. But I'll take it. I was then tasked with protecting Futaba once again. Aren't I lucky? Things were getting desperate. I wanted to save that showtime for a boss, but desperate times calls for desperate measures, so I used it. I got knocked down and then killed. I barely managed to get to 100%, so I was happy to see the end of that fucking horde, only to be brought right back in to another one where we all died. I hate this icy hell. Clearly, there was only one approach that would get me through this place, and that was to use Pixie more. She never lets me down, and it worked like a charm. Then I almost died, probably should have died. I got very lucky. The game felt bad for me, and decided to have a brain fart and miss all the attacks while I was sitting on my arse. Then I actually died, because I'm an idiot. Then I turned on this heater. Don't know what it did, but it helped me see better. So I'll take it. I then got the next core. A flower. Considering how she goes mental if a flower is out of place, that makes sense. Unfortunately, security is tight in this place. But I refuse to hand over my flower. Finders keepers. So I started throwing some forks at my would-be jailer. This boss battle was really easy. Practically the easiest boss fight ever. Until three of us died leaving only my bra. Somehow, I managed to absolutely play some amazing Persona 5 Strikers gameplay because I should have died long before I even got this close. But somehow, I found a way. As always, when it looks like I'm absolutely fucked, that's when I play my best. I went jumping up this extremely dangerous ice wall. I'm surprised I didn't slip and hit my head. This did not seem safe in any way. I took on another horde and got the third core. I battled a very weak boss. He stood no chance against me. He was weak to electric after all. Then I ran out of SP and was completely fucked. So I died. This was his health when I died. Need I say more? I was fucking fuming. Next thing I know, I see an army of he hoes I must have gone to hell when I died. Well, if you can't beat them, join them. When I return to the real world, I once again see the mayor, basically abusing her employees. My guy can hardly stand, and she's still giving out. I cannot let my brother suffer like this, so I intervene. It is funny though, how this guy is just bent over. Did he walk like this all the way here? I then proceeded to make a balls of a puzzle, and was forced to leave and go back out and reset it. That was embarrassing. I'm not going to lie. Clearly, she just needed to throw me in a puzzle room and not let me reset it if she wanted to win. I'd be my own downfall. I destroyed a bunch of scrubs only to run into an even bigger horde of them. And then another one appeared. I really need to figure out where all these things are coming from and destroy the nest. I then ran into not one, but two bosses. I decided it was time to utilize the others again, otherwise I'd be fucked. I tried using them sparingly and focused on using Pixie and Joker. I managed to get two show times, which probably showcases just how mad these bosses health bars are. That I managed to get two show times and still not even one is dead yet. Then I got knocked down and just when I was about to get back up, I died. 
I barely managed to get the win. But a win is a win. Next up, I investigated the mayor's trauma. Turns out she deals with psychopaths on a regular basis. But that's just the joys of politics. I can understand her point of view. But there's only enough room for one person to do questionable actions for the greater good. And that's me. So I'm going to kick the shit out of this trauma and then she's next. These things can tank a lot of hits. Even all out attacks do nothing. It didn't even help that this fucker had the ability to heal himself, which he took full advantage of. I thought I'd never kill him. He just refused to die. I respect it in a way. But if you're going to have the ability to heal, Showtimes shouldn't do that much damage. It took 7 million years, but I got there. I share a moment with Haru as she pours her heart out to me. I can't help but think how great it's going to be when I finally destroy her friend. I then send out the calling card and confront her shadow. And I just realized this is the first time she showed up. I haven't had any interaction with the shadow before this. I don't think she was happy that I interrupted her dinner. I have no idea what the fuck she's supposed to be. But alright, let's do it. This chick's health was something else. And she ate one of my friends. I didn't find the boss that difficult. She just took ages to kill. I dropped the chandelier like a moron. She was a million miles away, so it didn't even come close to hitting her. Despite my stupidity, I managed to steal the win. The fat lady has sung. The next day, I got to relive one of my fondest memories. Making my political enemies admit to their crimes by forcefully changing their personalities. The feeling wasn't quite as good as she though, but you'll give me my fix lady. You'll never be a politician again. I am victorious. I will stand back up and become your mayor again. God fucking damn it.